Hello, I'm John Cabrera with Moby Therm Advanced Thermography Solutions. In these series of videos, I'm going to be discussing the various methods of measurement that are possible with the IRNDT composite check system. In this particular video, we're going to be discussing the transient method. And this is a method, a very slow method of measurement where a halogen lamp or some other excitation source is used to introduce heat into the body of a composite material and a clear thermal camera is used to obtain the heat signature coming out of that material as it's cooling. For this particular measurement, we're using an uncooled microbolometer. It's a less expensive uh, camera than what would typically be used in a high-speed application, such as uh, flash thermography, uh, where you would need that to inspect something like bonded aluminum panels. In this case, we've mounted a composite material onto the uh, measurement area, and it's about six millimeters in thickness, and it contains uh, 12 or 16 voids that we've introduced artificially to demonstrate the capabilities of the system. But this is a material that's very slow to take in heat. It's a very good insulator, and so therefore you don't need high frame rate cameras and you don't need exotic illumination sources to get your results. So we're going to set up the wizard for our workspace. And it requires very little in the way of parameters. You simply need to tell it what type of excitation source you need, which is a halogen lamp for us, how you want the camera to run, and we want it to run in free run. And then the last bit of information is how long you want to measure for and we're going to say 20 seconds so that's going to be tw uh, 20 seconds total 10 of those seconds are going to be with the lamp on 20 of the 10 of those seconds are going to be watching the part cool down after the lamp turns off and so no, now what's happening is that the lamp is introducing the heat into the part. It's only raising the total surface temperature of the part by about three degrees. So that's where the non-destructive uh, part comes in. Uh, we don't want to start burning the part, uh, which could very likely happen if you were to leave this on for several minutes, let's say. So as you can see, we have results on the right side, which represent what the thermal camera is able to see. And so what the camera sees is that the very thin, let's say half a millimeter thin areas of the panel get very hot because they have nowhere for that heat to escape to. But the thicker areas of the part allow the heat to dissipate out the edges. They allow it to distribute to other areas of the part. So you have a very uniform heating there. So less features are visible. And then we have the transient result on the other side, which is the derivative, first, second, and third derivatives. And with these, we can dial in through the part from the surface, right, where we see the very first effects of the heating. So you can see these parts are very bright, and these are much dimmer, meaning they're taking up the heat much more slowly. And then as you dial into the sample you can see it sort of develop almost like film and you start seeing those deeper features come in. We can also see stratification of the material so what we're actually seeing here are two separate sheets of composite or possibly even more being overlaid horizontally and vertically according to how the material was uh, woven together. And so in a nutshell that's the transient method. It's uh, a very economical method because it does not require the higher priced cooled cameras. It can use uncooled bi microbolometers in most cases and it can uh, make use of slower frame rates since uh, height capture rates are not necessary for such a, a part as this composite material.